Hi guys, Katie here. I'm taking part in a little bit of an experiment today and I wanted you to join in with me. So have a little look at this. This is a selfie that I took of myself yesterday. Now this was taken before I did some filming for a TV show. So I've had my hair and makeup done by a professional makeup artist in this picture. But I still thought there could be room for improvement. So I decided to send it to a friend and ask her to use an app which is free to download and which anybody could get to edit it and try and make me look even better. So she's been having a little play around and I'm about to look at the final photo. Let's see what she's done to it. Oh wow, <laughs> that doesn't even look like me. I look a little bit like a cartoon. I can see that sort of my, my face shape has sort of changed a little bit perhaps, my eye shape. My skin just looks ridiculously smooth, unnaturally smooth. My hair looks a bit fuller. If you didn't know me and you were just sort of following me on social media and you saw that picture, you'd probably think that that was just what I looked like. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I look at pictures of other people on social media and I think, why don't I look that perfect? And I feel a little bit envious of them. But chances are they've used an app just like this one to improve the way they look and what you're seeing actually isn't real. Nowadays, it isn't just magazines and advertising campaigns you need to worry about. Everyone is using an app to edit their photos. Right, I think it's time to unedit this selfie and show you all what I actually look like before all of this computer trickery. So it's time to find out how I unedit my photos. So we've got this very heavily edited picture here and the first thing I'm going to do is take off the filter. So there it is with no filter. It doesn't really look very different actually, but it, it just sort of changed the colour a little bit and made it perhaps a little bit smoother. Now filters can be really fun. We all love a filter these days. And lots of us enjoy sending silly faces where we've got dog ears and sticky out dog tongs to our friends. And that can be a really good laugh. But what we need to make sure we don't do is start to dislike our face, how it actually looks without those filters on. Now my hair looks a little bit of a different colour on this photo as well. So it's almost like I've been given some sort of hair dye using an app. So let's take that off. There you go, that looks a little bit more like what my hair actually looks like. So it looks like there's a very subtle but effective difference uh, in my eyebrows. So don't forget, a makeup artist had already penciled in my eyebrows to look quite nice. I really like those eyebrows actually, I kind of wish they did look like that in real life. <laughs> so let's remove the brow reshape. So my under eyes just look so smooth. Let's add the shadows back under my eyes. There you go. You can see that the, the skin under my eyes is slightly darker. You can see where it creases as I smile. That's much more like what a human looks like when they smile rather than a cartoon, which is how I looked before. Now my teeth look ridiculously white. <laughs> They're almost blue. They're so white. Let's unedit the mouth area. We set the standards so high with these editing apps that now looking at my real teeth, which are quite white anyway, I'm thinking they don't look white enough. I think I need them to be even whiter. I need them to look unnatural. Now, aside from my ridiculously white teeth, I think the first thing I noticed about this editing photo when I looked at it was my, my jaw, the shape of my jaw looks completely different. There you go. That's the round face I know and love <laughs> when I look in the mirror. So my hair looks a lot thicker and like it's got more volume. So I think my friend has somehow managed to sort of add more hair in magically using this app, which is amazing. Um, and also my skin just looks incredibly smooth. Let's unedit the voluminous hair and the smooth skin. There we go. So my hair looks really flat now. <laughs> also my dimple, I didn't even notice that my dimple had been removed. And I love my dimple, so I definitely never want to smooth that out. I want to keep that. I feel like I should name it. That can be Dave the Dimple. Dave the Dimple's back. <laughs> okay, we're up to the last step. I've been looking at this picture for so long that I can't remember what my actual eyes look like. On this photo, they're sparkling. They look like somebody's drawn them. They look far too perfect. So let's unedit the eyes and see that original photo. Oh wow, that's quite a difference. <laughs> Oh wow, I can't believe that. My eyes look totally different. See, I'm actually envious of the edited version of me, which is ridiculous because that's, it's me. Except it's not me. It's like a pretend virtual online me. People show the best bits of their lives on the internet and then the rest of us go on and compare ourselves and think that we're not as good and that's simply not the case. I think it's important to remember that your face and your body is beautiful how it is and if we edit our photos too much online, we might start to not like the real us. So be very careful of that. I think I'm just going to delete this app and not use it again.